mine everyone. It is day three here on the Gili Islands. Right now we're on Gili Mino, it's in the morning and we're just getting ready to go to Gili Air. Gili Air is that, that island that you can see over there. So this time we're going to be getting the public boat and I think it's about like $2.50 each instead of the private one which is more expensive and that boat's leaving at like $9.50 so I think it's going to be this boat here. So we're going to get on that soon and then we'll be heading over there. Just checked into our Airbnb and just like on Trawangan we decided to get some bikes uh, rent some bikes for the day it's the best way to get around I think and over here was 25,000 so that's just under two dollars and it's actually half the price of what we paid on Trawangan so yeah got a way better deal so yeah we don't, we're not sure where we're going just ride around aimlessly and check out the island decided to take a quick dip to, to cool down. It is very hot while you're biking around. And yeah, this is just such a beautiful spot here. Super relaxing once again. So you probably notice like, obviously the appearance of the islands are pretty much all the same. Surprisingly, the vibe is very different on each island. Each island offers something different. So Trawangan seemed to be more like the Kind of like a bit more party island. There's still some relaxed spots there, but like a lot of the clubs when you're passing, it's kind of like louder dance music. Then Gilimino yesterday was more like, um, more like one of those places where it's like super chill, pretty much deserted, nobody really there. And then here, there's like loads of resorts and stuff, but it's not like Tr Truangan. It's more like a chilled back vibe, like, I guess the music's not like kind of like dance music and stuff it's more like a relaxing place so yeah these islands have just been amazing man like to me this is just like paradise you just get on a bike ride around super easy to ride around because it's all flat and and yeah just so beautiful just crazy so many spots that you can get to yourself and yeah if you're a beach lover you don't need much more than this how's it going carol all good. All good. What do you think so far of this island? Well, I think maybe I understand why people think it's the best one. Yeah. Because, I don't know, it's kind of in the middle of the, the other two, like... Yeah, it's like not dead. Not dead. But it's also not like party mode, it's like yeah. right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Second spot of the day, just decided to sit at this place at the side of the beach, get some like coconuts, cool down a bit. This has been the most challenging island to ride the bike because there's lots of soft sand, so there's lots of parts where you have to like just walk around where you can't really ride. But here we have an incredible view. So over there, that's Gili Mino where we were yesterday. And then to the left in the distance, you can see Lombok. And this is our little chill spot here. So as you're going around the island, there's literally like hundreds and hundreds of places to just chill out with a beach view. So, yeah, pretty amazing. 
All right. Thank you. Yes. All right, thanks. So we got some coconuts here. I think they were like uh, $2 each. So yeah, probably think kind of expensive, but basically at any of these places that are right on the beachfront, you're obviously gonna be paying more. Nice and sweet. Carol taste test. Good. Those are probably some of the nicest drone shots that I've gotten on the on the Gilly Island so far. I think there's less coral, so like the ocean looks a lot like a clearer turquoise color. And you got Lombok in the backdrop since this is the island closest to Lombok. So yeah, it's just been really beautiful here. You probably saw the swing that Carol was on in the shots. <laughs> also got a swing here as well. And right now, um, not even sure what else going to do. You can also do snorkeling around here. You can even do some stand-up paddling, so we might even do that. We'll see. So we just got a stand-up paddle board here. So that was 150,000, which is around $10, I think. Me and Carol did this a while back in Rio, and it was uh, pretty funny. We kept falling. Here, there's less waves, so we'll see how it goes. All right, see you later, Carol. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, with two people it was impossible, but with just one, you can get your balance a lot better. Pretty nice up here. <laughs> here we go, the queen of balance. How, how is it? Not easy. <laughs> You're doing good. See you later. people make it look so easy. Yeah, I don't know. But people I surf on these things. Yeah. Yeah. I think most of the time when I see two people it's like the mother and the, their child. Oh okay. Like that, so maybe it's easier when it's not too heavy. Yeah. I think Carol is a bit better than me though. I was like shaky legs the whole way. She looked more like comfortable. <laughs> Lombok is looking beautiful back there though. And so is Gilear. Time's almost up, Carol. I think it got easier as as I kept on doing it. Yeah, the 
time for me. Yeah, time to sunbathe. <laughs> It's uh, sunset hour once again. Just like on the other islands, we've come to the west side of the island where you get the sunset. And just like the other islands also, you get these like beanbag places. And yeah, we're just gonna be chilling here, drinking a bit, probably get some food as well, and wait for the sunset. We've done pretty much like similar things on each island, just a few different things, but yeah, this is pretty much how it is. And we have decided to stay here three nights now. Um, the original idea was to stay one one night on each island, but yeah, we've enjoyed this like laid back feeling so much that we're just gonna be spending, yeah, three days here. So that kind of showed you how much we've, we've liked this place. All right, thank you. So the sunset's pretty much gone now. Still looks pretty cool though. Carol got herself two mojitos. <laughs> so that's one thing to note, the alcohol here is expensive. Like one mojito was around like five or six dollars. But she got like a deal where it's like buy one get one free because it's the happy hour. But if you think about it, if you bought two mojitos that would be like the same price as our Airbnb for like $12 so yeah really expensive and my bin tank here I think it was around 40,000 rupiah which is around two or three dollars or something like that so yeah if, if you go out drinking here you you'll spend a lot of money that's for sure me and Carol don't actually drink that often so yeah only every every now and again so it doesn't really matter but if you're someone that's just gonna keep drinking a lot um, yeah, gonna be a pain a lot. If you're an alcoholic. Back at the Airbnb now. So the Airbnb we stayed in is called Melbao Homestay. And this was only like uh, $12 I think after taxes. And it's the same deal as on the other islands. We got, um, we got free breakfast and stuff. Got your aircon as well, so super cheap. Pretty much our time on all these islands has been really cheap besides like the alcohol. Yeah, it's just really cheap, barely spent any money really. And I think the next videos are gonna be from Lombok. We're gonna be heading there after this, just in a few days time since I told you that we're gonna extend our stay here on, the, on this Gilly Island. So yeah, stay tuned for that. As always, just drop a like to support me, subscribe to like to see more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.